Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And your yesterday's quiz question was to name the journal which is published by Mahatma Gandhi in English and British has tried Mahatma Gandhi under a sedition case for publishing articles in this journal. And the correct answer is Young India. That is the journal published by Mahatma Gandhi. So that is the right answer. Let's now start today's session. First question for the day. With reference to sovereign gold bond scheme, consider the following statement. Statement 1. The sovereign gold bond was introduced by government in 2015. And uh, statement 2. The government introduced these bonds to ban gold imports. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 only, option B 2 only, option C both 1 and 2 and option D neither 1 nor 2. So guys the correct answer here is actually government did not intend to ban gold imports. It introduced this to reduce gold imports. So the statement 2 is wrong. So the correct answer is option A 1 only. So this scheme is a very familiar scheme. I hope all of you are aware about this. We will just revise now. Sovereign gold bond is a substitute for holding physical gold and the bonds are issued by RBI on behalf of the government and are a bond denominated in gold and the government issues such bonds at a fixed price that investors can buy through banks, post office and also in secondary markets through the stock exchange platforms and the minimum investment is 2 grams which means for 2 grams of gold we can purchase this bond and maximum investment is 500 grams per person per year and the time limit for this bond is 8 years that is the maturity period if a buyer wants he can exit after 5th year and benefits of these bonds are to the government it will benefit that this will reduce the demand for physical gold and associated problems of black money and current account deficit and if you see the household savings is turning to investment so it will help government's market borrowing program the money thus raised can be used in infrastructure building and social welfare schemes and to the investor this will help this bond got an interest rate of 2.5 percent per annum which is payable on a half yearly basis and on maturity the investor will get equivalent rupee value of quantum of gold he invested at then prevailing price of the gold and also he can use these bonds as collateral for getting loans from banks so that are the advantages for investor and now we'll move to second question second question is obica survey of the manufacturing sector often seen in the news is conducted by option a central statistical organization option b national sample survey office option c reserve bank of india and option d niti ayog so guys the correct answer here is it is conducted by reserve bank of india option c Obicus is something we often get to hear from RBI. Obicus is order books, inventories and capacity utilization survey that is the expansion and this survey is on manufacturing sector and is published by quarterly by RBI since March 2008. It actually provides an insight into demand conditions faced by Indian manufacturing sector and it covers over 2500 public and private limited companies in the manufacturing sector. The company level data collected during the survey are treated as confidential and never disclosed. So that is about Obika survey. We will now move to last question for the day. And last question is which among the following best describes liquidity coverage ratio LCR. Option A. It is the proportion of highly liquid assets held by the banks to ensure their ability to meet short term obligations. Option B. It is the ratio of currency in circulation to the CRR. And option C it is the proportion of NPA to the bank assets and option D it is the proportion of newly printed currency to the presently circulating currency. Guys the correct answer here is it is option A proportion of highly liquid assets held by the banks to ensure their ability to meet short term obligations. The liquidity coverage ratio LCR the basics are similar to our SLR that is statutory liquidity ratio and in LCR the bank should invest part of their money into liquid assets like treasury bonds, government securities and highly rated shares and bonds. The purpose of this is it can be sold to fund banks during a stress scenario. And recently on the week of COVID-19 crisis, RBI allowed 
scheduled commercial banks to reduce their liquidity coverage ratio from 100% to 80% with immediate effect so this will leave bank with more cash to give loans so that is an advantage and the limitation of LCR is that it requires banks to hold more cash so bank is left with less money to give loans to their customers so that is the limitation of LCR and uh, guys it's time for our quiz question we know about SLR statutory liquidity ratio we talked about earlier so a question is in which all forms a bank can hold this SLR whether it is in money gold or something else in which all forms a bank can hold its statutory liquidity ratio so please post your answers in the comment section so that's all for today guys please post your scores also in the comment section we'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions thank you for watching